Okay, so we have a Dell D610 uh, with the connector broken off for the power. And um, it's right here. It's a clean break. So what we're going to do is put it on our uh, rework station and use it to, uh, well, pretty much reattach this part on there. So what we're going to do is prep everything. Get turned on and see if uh, we can't get this uh, part put back on there and how well we can get it done. Okay, so what we've done is taken our component, lined everything up the way it was, and flexed it out and put it on the board. And then we're going to take our top heater and um, put that in to uh, check everything. Uh, to heat it up make sure everything gets uh, hot enough to go through it so we can see that our pins are actually uh, lined up and everything's perfectly fine there's a little bit of a glare on the flex there but everything looks good so we're gonna position our top heater in like so and then uh, what we're going to do is turn our program on we need to set our lower control to uh, zero and um, only run our top heater so what we're going to do is position everything to uh, run the way it's supposed to we've got to get our program in there and make sure everything's uh, set correctly So we need to pick our uh, program and see that everything's good with it. So, we need to take our probe and put our probe in there. It's kind of shooting at the wall for a second there. Didn't even realize that when I was sending the program. So we're going to take our probe and uh, place it in there kind of hard to do with uh, one hand so what we're going to do is stop the video for a second and get everything set up and then go from there okay so we have our temperature probe and we're going to start our uh, system right now and get it to heat everything up and we'll notice that the upper heater actually heats everything perfectly uh, it does what it needs to do um, we'll slowly start to see the solder, uh, the flux boil out, and then the solder should start to adhere. So we'll let this uh, run like it's supposed to, and then come back to it at the end of the program and see what, uh, what we've done. Okay, so as we can see, we've ran our program. We're at the uh, final stage of it, and it's actually complete. And we see that the uh, terminals look like they've been re-soldered on. Uh, so what we're going to do is let this cool down. And then after it cools down, we're going to plug the uh, power connector in and see if we can't get a uh, see if we can't get a power on cycle from it. So that'll be the next thing we test after it cools down. Okay, so the only thing left to do now is to check our uh, system. So we're going to plug our power adapter in. And we see that it gets lights. And we'll push the power button here. And we see that it turns on. So we know that our uh, solder work on the power button here was exacting and did what it needed to do. So uh, we'll call this a complete and finished system. Uh, with our new uh, reflow system, we're actually able to put those parts in. Unlike uh, heat-related... Uh, hot air systems the uh, dark IR system will allow you to uh, replace uh, molex and plastic component pieces uh, over time and put those in so we'll call this complete and everything's done